Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about whole body diffusion. How you can scan this, how you can do it post processing, and along with that, I'm going to give a lot of tips and tricks. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Well, guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. So uh, this video is a little bit special for me because this is number 30 uh, in my line. I just want to say thanks to everyone who have been supporting me so far and uh, watching my videos and finding valuable, giving comments, discussion, subscribing and like. It means a lot to me because what I'm doing here is no revenue for me. I uh, do it for free, use my spare time and by you guys supporting me, that means a lot. So for those who are new, my name is Bak Nguyen, I'm an Amarai radiographer and in my channel I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, troubleshooting, just like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, cut, said, ring, do it. So whole body diffusion is something I've been doing for a long time and uh, I've been testing around a lot of things and doing it transversal plane, which I'm going to show you today and doing it the coronal plane, which I can make another video later. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can use the tin planning and how you can efficiently do it a whole body diffusion. And if you get stuck by doing the post processing, I was going to show you how you can overcome this, this problem. So without further ado, you know the deal. Let's go to the scanner. All right, we are at uh, 1.5 Tesla, but uh, this can be done on 3T as well. So I'll start out with the localizer here, which covers from the top to the hip. So this is where I'm going to stop it today. I'm not going to do the whole body from top to toe, only to the hip. So I start out with first here. You have a few options here. You can see the sequence number two here. It's uh, done manually, one by one step. And then I have one set and go, which I'm going to show you later. How you can set this up via team planning. So while the localizer is running on the second step, I'm planning my first diffusion step right now so there won't be no dead time in the scanner I'm just going to try to get an overview here so I can place the first one in here you have tin planning suite this is an option whenever you're buying a scanner so with the tin planning it's easier to plan your sequences if you have multiple steps so let's check here you can see here I'm having the composing group one I can choose whatever I want here from 1 till 100. So for the diffusion, I choose 1. If I have a T2 or T1, I can choose either 2 or 3. They will compose together whenever the last step is done. So I'm just going to write the step 1 here. Remember, the localizer is still running. So there you go. That's step 1. So they will be continuously scanning. There will be no break in the scanning. That's important for me. So what I'm using here now is that I'm using control 3 and 4 and then 5 and 6. I will show you why. So I move the box within the field of view. So let's write the step 2 here. And there you go. The local class is done now and it's composed for me so I get an overview. While that is done, the step 1 is running so no dead time in the scanner. So let's go for step 3 and I will show you how I can use my keyboard to move the box fast. So up in here you have what you call stack minus and stack plus, control 3 or 4 and then gap filling. So what I'm using here is I'm using control 4 and then I'm using control 5 two times or three times. So again overlap of the, the slices. Okay here control 3 and then 5 two times, two three times. And then I scan. And then I go to step 4. I do the same there. Just gonna have a coronal here for an overview. There you go. So this is my last step. So I'm choosing last step. And then whenever that sequence is done, the scanner will automatically compose the sequences together for me. Okay, let's check the set and go. Set and go is much easier as you can see there. All the four boxes is stacked together. The pitfalls regarding this is they can lag a little bit. So if you're going to use 
uh, set and go you have to wait for the localizer to be done right so you get an overview so you there will be a dead time in the scanner while you're planning the set and go but it's it's much more robust and uh, it's you can't fail by doing by using a set and go in fail that means that you are losing you don't have enough overlap and so on and so on so by set and go it's easy to do it correctly each time so set and go is built like this you have a set and go protocol and then you have multiple steps four steps as you can see there and then it's inline composing so let's move the set and go so remember to have the couple graphics on i right click on the screen and i couple graphics on that means that whenever i'm moving one box every box will be stitched together you can see it lags a little bit there okay so let's try again and take the couple graphics off i'm going to check you see there so I only move one box. It's time consuming. Okay, I'm just gonna delete that one. So while that is running, we're gonna check the images and we're gonna do the post processing now. Okay, so we're over here at the post processing. So what you see in front of you here, remember that diffusion, the trace images, consist of multiple B values. So in here I have two B values. I have B50 and B800. And then the ADC comes for itself. You can see step one, step one there, step two, two, three, three, and four, four. So in here, there's a composed images of the ADC. And then I have the, all the composed here with a filter of 50 and filter of 800. So whenever the, it's finished composed, you can just do the post processing. It's easy and fast. But whenever you don't have the composed images and you have to do it manually, this way I'm going to show you now. Okay. So let's compose only the coronal it's coronal is easy right you just drag and drop in the composing mode and just use adaptive it's easy as that and then i'm going to manual and i normalize this just to get a better homogeneous through the images okay i'm patient and remember to save all as if you choose only save as let's check now you only get one image that's not what we want. We want the whole package. So cancel, save all as. Then you get 10 images. That's correct. So you can write whenever you want and save that. Let's go for the Sagittal. So the composing works whenever you are not 45 degrees off the coronal plane or Sagittal plane. So these are the straight ones, so it works great. Same here. I just normalize that. Patient, save all as. And then I have 17 images. Write the name of that and then I save it. I'm going to do cancel now. Okay. So let's try to uh, do the transversal. Let's see what's happening. We're going to do the transversal on the B values, the trace images from step one to step four. And we're going to drag and drop. There you go. You select transversal slices. Only sagittal or coronal slices are valid for spine composing. Okay, so transversal doesn't work. But we want the whole transversal to be in one stack so you can do a pause processing and so on and so on. So we get a whole overview of the, the scan, right? Okay, let's move on here. We choose OK. It's not possible. We will find a workaround. Okay. So in this stack of step one, you have two B values. So each sequence is consists of 50 slices, 50 slices of B50 and 50 slices of B800. That's why you see 100 slices down there. So it's one stack. So if this is late in your day and the mathematic is difficult, you can only check the ADC because that shows the real one, 50, right? The ADC only consists of ADC, so it says 50. It's easy to go in there and just check okay so what we're going to do now we're going to split this one so we're going to choose one till 50 hold down your shift click drag and drop okay so that's step one b50 
So if you save as now, you can see you only get one images. That's wrong. You need all the 50. So what you got to do now is that you have to right click, select series. That means that you select all the slices and then you save as, it says 50. So now it's correct. Let's rename this one. So whatever we want, I just call the whole body step one and B50. And then I say, okay. So close the patient down there. And then we're gonna choose the next step from 51 to 100. So that means that you are now choosing B800 within that stack, within step one. So my goal is now is to split the, the B values. So this is B800, step one, select series, save as, and then we're gonna rename this one. As you can see there, it says whatever you wrote the last time, so it's easy for you to have a pinpoint on what you're writing. So we're only gonna change the last here to B800. Step one, and then B800. Okay. So we finish now with step one. We split it both the B values in separately, B50 and B800. So let's go for step two. We could do the same here. We have in 50 slices. Right click, save as. Step two, B50. Okay, close the patient. Choose the next B value in the same step. Drag and drop, right click, save as. Step two, we're still at step two, but now we are Bay 800. Close. I just did a rewind a little bit there. I already split it all for you guys. So you, all you have to do now is to split step three and step four, right? So what you have in front of you here now is that the splitted one, the manual splitting. So we have B50 here in four steps, as you can see there and also have B800 in four steps. So we already split it, those B values. So if you go into the composing now, you still get the faulty error message because it's transversal. So what you can do now is that you can go directly through 3D mode, as you see there, drag and drop. So it says there, it's working. All right. So you can do the post processing here, the MPR or the MIP, or whatever you want, whatever your radiologist wants. You can do it in all planes. You can start and save. This is P50. Just not going to save that one. And then you can also do Sagittal plane and whatever you want. Let's go for the MIP. So what I did here now is that choose five degree and uh, number of slices 73. So that means they go 360 degrees around. This is also up to you what you want to do. There's no right or wrong here. Just gonna save this one. So my last post processing was the MPR, and this one you see in front of you here now is the MIP. I'm just going to save that one. And we're going to do the same for B800, just going to do a MIP. So the first time you are doing this, you can also save it by clicking that but this button here and rename it to whatever you want. You see my preset here is whole body DVI. That means that I saved it already. I just go in here and I find it and then it will automatically position it for me with five degree and 73 uh, number of images. And then I just got to start so fast and easy. This is B800. 
Just gonna save this one. Okay. So, what if you want the transverse images to be as one stack? So you want to send it to you know, packs and then the radiologist can look through the in transverse plane so he won't necessarily look through one step each time. He wants to look at the whole stack. So what you can do now is like this. You mark and let's say B50. You mark B50. You go into the viewing. And I like to have the view as one uh, screen like this. It's easier. Okay, select series. Save as. You see, it does work. Only 50 slices. That means that only only one stack. We want the four steps to be in one. So 50 times four, that's 200, right? So we have to cancel this one. So we need to do one further step. Select series. You go to edit. Select. Select study. And then you can save as voila 200 images which is correctly you can call this for b50 compose or whatever okay and you can do the same on the b800 and also the adc the adc you don't need split or nothing because it comes by itself so you're just gonna do the same here with the now B50 and then you're gonna do with 800 and ADC then you're good to go. So this is a B50 transverse you compose. I'm just gonna show you in a 3D mode. Okay for that one. And you see it's the same here. This is the same as early as we drag and drop but if you drag and drop you don't have the raw data. But now we have the raw data so that radiologists can look through it in the transversal plane as well. Okay, so people are asking, hey, how can you get the diffusion, the whole body diffusion to look like a PET image? You know, the inverted gray and white. So what you're gonna do now is that, I'm just gonna choose another view here. So we can drag the B50 and B800 the MIPS ones, like this. You see, you have them there. Okay, let's invert these ones. So whatever you do here now, if you only choose one of them without select series, Let's check here. You can go to image invert. You only invert one slice. You see there? Only one slice. So let's re invert this one. What you can do here now, mark these two, select series, and then invert. Then you're inverting them all fast and easy. All you got to do now is just select series one each of them and save it again. So you see the name there B50 MIP. You also call it B50 MIP invert. So also for B800, select series, save as B800 MIP invert. And there you go. That's the old school pass processing. So without the thin planning and if the composing is failing, you can do this by manually. Also remember if you are scanning different regions and you have a problem Doing the composing and transversal, you can just do it like this drag and drop, select series, and go to the study and then save all as, and then we we'll work. There you go, all images are ready to go to packs for the report. That's it. <sighs> was a lot of tips, tricks there? Yeah, it was. So, uh if I went too fast, I'm sorry for that. You can always do a rewind and watch it over again. But there's a lot of tips in this whole, you know, whole body diffusion. But remember, all these tips along, you can adapt it to other regions and other things when you're doing MR. So I have a question for you before we uh, we close up. Do you uh, do whole body diffusion? If so, in what kind of plane? Transversal or corridor? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, remember to push the like button and subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so you will get a ding ding whenever new stuff is coming up. So until next time, take care and I'll see you around. 